Brazil's president has travelled to the state of Sao Paulo to visit areas affected by flooding and landslides that have left dozens dead. Search and rescue efforts are continuing, with people still thought to be trapped in the rubble of collapsed buildings. The BBC's Tim Allman reports. Seeing for himself the terrible damage nature can cause. President Lula da Silva on board a military helicopter flying above some of the towns and villages almost swept away by the mudslides. But even in the darkest of moments, he believes there is hope. If each one of us works alone, we do less work. That's why we need to stick together. That's why we need to share the good things and the bad things, because together we'll be much stronger and we'll recover quickly. When you see some of the damage, you may have your doubts. The hillsides around here are scarred, many of the homes buried. Some begin the desperate task of trying to clean up. Others don't have that luxury. Their property destroyed, their lives now on hold. It was like a horror movie. We saw our house swept away and my nephew's house. I'm sure they were sleeping, all three of them. And up to now, we have no news. At this airbase, some of those rescued from the mudslides are brought to safety. But this has also become a destination for those who didn't survive. There are hopes that people buried under the muck and the rubble may still be rescued. But more rain is expected in the coming days. This is a crisis that is seemingly far from over. Tim Allman, BBC News.